I just bought this 20 gauge Canthal electric heating wire, electric resistance heating wire. And uh, I'm hoping to build a uh, portable electric furnace for melting aluminum, aluminium for our British friends. And so the stuff has a little bit over 0.8 ohm per foot. So I cut 10 feet of it, which at 115 volts should give me approximately 12 to 14 amps or right around 1500 watts. And this stuff is rated to 2550 degrees Fahrenheit or 1400 degrees C. So that should be ample for melting aluminum. In fact, it should be enough for melting brass if I can uh, insulate the thing well enough. This is a very uh, rudimentary test, or a very, uh, it's a preliminary test, let me put it that way. You know, this is not usable in its current form, it's not really safe, but uh, I'm going to be right here so I can unplug it if anything goes wrong. And. Uh, this is just an ammo can that I stacked some, some fire bricks into and if it works reasonably well then I might uh, cut some of these fire bricks to size and then put some cement around them and so on and uh, figure out a way to uh, to secure the wire inside it and uh, but for right now let's test it and just see what it does By the way, this is not the first time I've powered this wire up. And uh, like I said, I cut about 10 feet of it to give me around 1500 watts at, uh, on a standard 115, 120 volt circuit. And, uh, and then I wound it around approximately a half inch form and uh, stretched it out a little bit so none of the coils touch. So let's see what happens. It's drooping a little bit. <laughs> 